Okay, this is the Sherburne Zoning Board of Appeals. It is Tuesday, the 24th of April, uh, 5, 5 uh, 15. Um, we're in session up for a continued hearing on 59 North Main Street, 40B. Um, we have a couple little tiny administrative things, uh, which Jeannie has promised me a horrible and slow death if I do not cover. Um, one of them is Okay, that was, wasn't going to be, but our next regular hearing date, and we probably need to, well, let, let's start with that. When could we next do a regular hearing, not 40 Bs, not this one? And this is the only pending 40 B we've got right now that's live. So when could we do, now you guys are both about to be away in different time frames, right? Right, I'm away the week of uh, April 30th. Uh, and then the following week is. I, I'm just away the end of this week. So, so could the week after Jonathan returns. Yeah, the week I'm of the I'm open. Yeah, the week of the seventh. All right. So what about? Um, Did you do the week after early because of advertising. Right. She's got to advertise and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So let's go to. Um, could we look at uh, the week of? Whoops. Stop that. Get back to you. Um, the week of May, fourteen. Mm -hmm. We got the fifteenth. How, how about? Um, Tuesday the 15th? Mm, you're uh, shaking your head. Well, I'm having some disfiguring <laughs> surgery on the 14th. All right. Will you, will, will you look better on the 17th? I think it might be a little bit better. All right. How about, the, uh, all right. Judging from what the, taking a piece of my forehead off or a little. Okay. Stupid I'm stuff. sorry it's to hear big, that. It, it's a nothing serious, but it's a. All right. The 15 would be fine. I know the 14th. Let, let, let's would not let's be, do the let's do the 17. Let's do the 17 might be let's better. Let's do the 17. Yeah. Carrie Underwood got a little time to, so you should too. Okay. We have a doggy daycare. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thursday, May 17, for the next regular hearing. Okay. Um. We also need to decide on a continued hearing for these gap for this one because I think we're unlikely to finish completely tonight. Fourteenth, mm -hmm. um, no. <laughs> uh, um, Looking at another week, could, uh, maybe the week. We of the, meet the board of health on the third. So mean, the week of the seventh. I, I heard that you could could ever. So you're the. Is everybody around uh, Thursday the tenth? Yes. Yeah. All right, how about Thursday the 10th Great. for this? Um, a judgment call for your side, Peter, yes. is whether or not you want to extend the hearing deadline for us beyond April 30th. Vin, Vin's supposed to be here at 5.30. I'm, I'm prepared to give you that. The, the, answer may be, the answer may be you don't want to. Um, you know, if, if you've wrapped up all this stuff and we're just working on drafting, the hearing can be closed. The oh, only disadvantage of the hearing being closed. New information. Yeah, the, the hearing being cl closed is you can't take new information. The good advantage of the hearing being closed from your standpoint is to the extent we're dragging our feet and not being responsive, right. it starts that 40 day clock. Yeah, yeah. Um, so felt that you were that way. Um, we, we, we were trying not to be that way. Right. And Mark was kind enough to give me his comments and, and it, he still, still has made it clear that it's the board of health that, that does grant the approval. We have the Z, excuse me, we have the conservation approval. I'm okay. give you that. All right, so, 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 so we, think about that. Right, you don't have to decide that right now. If, he doesn't, if you don't mind, because if he shows up, it'll be his decision. Right. right, but he has to give a letter to the nice woman over there. I'm just, I'm just, I'll um, take the date of the 10th. Thank you. Speaking of the nice woman over there, does Vin owe Jeannie money? Yes, and I hope he's bringing his checks with him. Okay. <laughs> Girl, well, no, you and me both, because I've told him. <laughs> okay. So I think we are then ready to sort of, ready. you've got your two meetings, right? Mm -hmm. Um. 17th and the 10th. So I think we're ready to go into the meat of tonight's discussion. Okay. And Mr. Bemis, I bet you would, you and Mr. Orm would like to start with the septic plant. 
Um, I could do that just briefly. Because uh, then he could go. Right, yeah. Not, not to just Mike attending yeah, our meetings. That's a good idea. <laughs> and Mark but. was kind enough to do that <laughs> review. So I'd like to give you the um, Conservation Commission's order of conditions for the project. I sent it to Jeannie, so that's now kind of part of our official record for the decision. And your <clears throat> report on the Conservation Commission is that you and they have reached closure on everything, and so long as this is bolted into your decision, you're perfectly yes, that's right. with that. Yes, and we need to record it in advance of starting right. any work on site, and we'll have a we'll have a, a recording information that we'll provide them. And do you need any waivers? Uh, no, any we worked this things? out without having to ask for any waivers from their group. Most worked impressive. Worked out quite nicely, yes. Most we both impressive. worked together to Thank get you. there. Right. So I, I commend them, too. John, Are there any... Um, impacts in local jurisdiction because the the concom will do state level jurisdiction so they don't have the ability to get grant waivers for local so if there are local impacts, i think he worked it out we worked it out everywhere i think he was able yeah. to comply that's, with that's, it that, that's what it is and that's fine right I just want to probably yeah okay we pulled out we actually have <clears> the <throat> work that we have to do in that buffer zone but it's work that we've agreed to mutually um so i i'd say that's that replication in the golden rod yes exactly okay. exactly yeah, great. Okay. Um, so I, I, I think you're, you're right in bringing it up, but I don't believe we have to ask for anything special from the zoning board for relief. I love it. Yeah. Great. And that was important to them. They were trying to not set a precedent and asking for that. So. Right. Okay. All right. We appreciate everybody's cooperation. All right. Uh, then on to septic. Okay. So, so on to that, um, what we did is we had uh, comments that we had originally received from the Board of Health from, from Mr. Orham. And we addressed those in what we called our 41918 plan set. Those were the four sheets that I had presented to the board, showing you how the laterals were going to tie into the main, and then how all the services came out of each building unit. And we had uh, inverts listed everywhere, 2% slope coming out of every dwelling unit to feed the sewer. Um, and there were pump calculations uh, provided. And there were, uh, I'm trying to like think of the last item. Just look at one more sheet. The system, the septic system. Oh, that's right. We did Presby uh, when we put, we put the system together. Instead of doing a, uh, a bed, uh, we did a bed using uh, the proprietary AI technology. Um, I did submit via the email the IA acknowledgement form, which uh, Walter has signed. Um, now Mr. Gately will have to sign it when he's here today. I'll have to give that to Mark because he only has this form with just Walter's signature. He does not have Vin Gately's signature on it yet. Okay. Um, Walter? Walter Lewinsky, the civil engineer in my office. So Got the professional it. engineer that's responsible for the design of the Got system. It. Okay. Um, he has to sign it, as does the uh, property uh, proponent. Okay. Mark was kind enough to do another further review to see where we were with this, and he had written a uh, email back, which we got today. Right. And I forwarded it. Actually, you folks got a copy of that too. Yep, he did. I'm not sure I had the foresight to print it, but. The gist of it was the first item I didn't understand, but now I fully do. We had given Mark a cut. Thank you, Mark. It was a. Thank you. It was a calculation that Walter had prepared showing how the frictional factor gets calculated for the pumping um, operation. And then we look at the curve for the pump and we look back and see what we've got for a total dynamic head for, the, uh, for that pump operation. So Mark would like to have that on the plan versus it being just a separate piece of paper. Uh, and and just so if I may, that's yeah. been a board policy since I've been here. Okay. Uh, the reason for it is one, you get the engineer stamp on the same page, as well as a loose leaf item like this could get lost, and then it wouldn't be part of the whole plot plan. So that's right. that's the reason. Yep. Okay. So um, the way this profile sheet set up, and I just know how the viewports work, I'm gonna probably end up putting that on my sheet three and move the locus because it's just going to fit here a lot better than trying to displace elevations on a profile. CAD doesn't like that kind of thing. You have to use like a white bar command. Right, so it'll be on the, on the plan set. It's one of the sealed uh, plans. The other item that Mark raised was, um, and it's gonna be on this plan that will show that exhibit, is any water uh, crossings that we may have, we're gonna identify them on here, and then we're gonna bring uh, reference to uh, Title V. There's a section in there, um, 310 CMR, Two one one fifteen point two one. That's right. You got it. 
<laughs> okay, parentheses good. In parentheses, one, right? Sub, subsection one. And good, so good we'll, we'll, yeah, we're going to put that on. And I think at that point, we pretty much have covered all of the bases. Uh, would be in a position to present to the board formally at one of their regularly scheduled meetings so that they could then grant the, the permit because Mark doesn't grant them uh, here in Sherman. Okay. So what Go happened ahead. to the 100 foot issue? Uh, there was supposed to be a. Wasn't what there, there's some clean outs? Uh, yeah, oh, clean outs every hundred feet that you yeah, were talking um, about. Yeah, Mark answered that. We kept our plan the way we had it. So it'll yeah. be up to the board. There was okay. a board member here at the last meeting, and it was discussed. And the applicant will have to indicate to the board why they wish to not go that route. And I think Peter, I don't mean to throw the ball yeah, back at you, but uh, <laughs> you had noted, or someone had noted, they make equipment. There's right. equipment out there that can take care of clogs greater than 100 feet. Right. So you'll need to present, that's a good question, when you present the plan, that will need to be discussed and for the board to make a decision. Okay. And okay. I would suggest that the engineer use that you know, information and maybe get some stats on. Yeah, I'll do know, that. And, and we're not off by a lot. We're 130 on this one and we're right. 150 on this one. But so there's an issue on which the board has to be sold. Exactly. Yes. Right. Correct. Right. right. So, Fine. so that I guess would, if we don't get the same sort of action by the board of health, then that will be a waiver that we would ask ask and, of you. And when do we think the um, meeting will be? If the engineer can get us, we set the agenda usually. Uh, this uh, it's Thursday. Easy. Before April 30th or after April 30th? Uh, it, after the Board of Health was is meeting okay. next Thursday, May 3rd. You better keep your hearing open then. Right. Well, that's what I was saying yeah. is that we, we have the ability <laughs> to then address it so you get some new him, info. You right. Talk, that's why I think when Ben gets here, I'll say the same yeah. thing to him. We should yeah. just really roll it forward. Yeah, right. like the May 15th or something, just to give yourself enough yeah. room to work out that process. And what I would suggest is that before this Thursday, uh, get a hold of Ellen Hartnett, our Administrative Director, and let her know that you wish to be on that agenda and hopefully can have the plans. There's not much more to do. Right. And uh, there will, and not to, same issue that was brought up, because of the revisions, Alan will let you know the revision fees. Okay. So there will be revision fees for the additional reviews, uh, but Alan can, that's an administrative situation. Okay. So, you, so if I hear you correctly, you're saying, we're almost there. We're not there. You can't speak for the board. The board has to vote it, and uh, and they have to sell the board on one thing on the hundred foot stuff. But if if the board is sold on the hundred foot stuff, and nothing else changes between now and then, your forecast would be they'll be approved. Correct. All right. That would be my recommendation, right. as long as they vote for the waiver to uh, not require clean out to every hundred feet. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we got it. So what we yeah. should do now is shut up and stay out of the way until then on that issue. On that issue. <laughs> okay. So um, far, I'll let do you we have, escape. Do, do we have anything further for this witness, or can I you don't, go, no. go resume his regular life? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Very much for coming. You're welcome. Our apologies to your son for screwing up whatever the other project was. We'll do it tonight. I told him. We'll when, he flunks, when he flunks science, you can blame us. Uh, it, was, no. it was a college application. <laughs> it's due by Friday. Oh, <laughs> we don't oh, you tonight. procrastinated, yeah. Mark. Come on. No, no. He wanted to do it last night. But, Peter, it was taking care of you. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you all. All right. Thank you all. Good luck in the applications. Thanks. All right. Now I trust what you'd like, Mr. Bemis, is for us to start working through the... Yeah, if we would, I, I have uh, what John put together as, as my basis. All right, so John, you want to come on up and we'll just sort of oh. start through it? You step around that, John. I guess I'd start by asking board members if they thought there were material things that weren't in here that should be. Uh. Well, uh, my only comment really is I, I compared this draft to the one one draft. I'm not sure if it was the final draft of the fields. Oh, great. I started that, didn't finish. Um, and uh, there is quite a bit of language borrowed from the fields, uh, a number of paragraphs which I, I checked off. Which uh, 
I, uh, just a very uh, sort of formalistic comment, the, the fields started with a definition of the project on the front, property, plans of record, owner, applicant, sort of listed some basic information about the project, which... And you I, liked that? I liked that, yeah. So, and, I bet, and I bet it's just a tomato, tomato, so long as the decision is okay. clear, it doesn't have to be set up in a particular format. No, that's correct, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, so, so, I can maybe, add that so maybe we can do that. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't have strongly held views about it, do you, Mr. Stafford? Well, there is a description question. Right. Do you want, you want a more detailed description? Is that what you're asking? For? I think what John yeah, was saying was he, he liked the way this, was, this part was set up with a whole bunch of, here's the, oh, here are okay. all the definitions up at okay. the front. Yeah. Very, might, very lawyerly. It might have a list of the plans yep. that we've... Well, there should be a list of all the documents. Well, there will be. Right, yeah. yeah. So, I, I don't know, that might be a good place to, to put it, uh, yeah. right, right, at the, right at the front. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd certainly have the, plan, the, pl the, the plans of record be listed right up there in the front. Assuming, assuming it can be done easily, if it can't be done easily, what we did with the fields was we made it an exhibit. Yeah, no, we have, uh, I mean, that list of documents is in the PSC review letter, so I can take that and add any Super. other documents that are okay. Yeah. Great. Um, now, the PSC review letter la was last issued, the final version was March the 12th? Right, right. So there's going to be updated to dates, which I can help okay. on. Okay, right, right. And I want to get that right, too. That's, that's, we've been carrying forward the revision dates, and I. He did like heck, making another one. I'm gonna have to make one more to that final revision with the board of health because I gave him mm -hmm. five sealed copies. <laughs> and I'll have to give him five more sealed copies. Maybe when you do the give uh, John the revision dates, you could say, you know, March 12th was the last revision date reviewed by the peer reviewer, and and so that er, so that. Right. Afterwards, we can all reconstruct. Okay, wait a second. What happened here? Right. Yeah. These last few revisions were Kong Kong for one, four to health will be for three. Now, would you guys want that information listed, or just the name of the plans and then revised date, 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 date? I think I'd just say revised date, date, date. Although maybe if it's easy, you know, you're you're going to be writing. So so, but if it's easy to write it, you could say last plan set reviewed by peer review or last plan set reviewed by cons count. Yeah, if it's easy, because again, we're hoping that nobody, no trier of fact or anybody is looking at this and trying to take it apart. But you never know when somebody comes in afterwards and... Yeah, the plan date is, is a fixed date. That's how it's issued. There's no, it's a zero right. um, revision on it because it's the date it was issued. And then the last one would be the one that you could put next to right. each of those di disciplines. Okay. That's how I'd see it. Okay. John, that's all I got. Sounds good. Easy way to draft it. Okay, great. Um, all right. What else do you want? Uh, well, uh, were there other things that we should have picked up in this one? Yeah. No, I'm just because uh, I, I agree that, that that getting the benefit of all the uh, work we did on the fields is a good idea. Yeah. Well, it's actually if you look at this draft. I think paragraph two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Right. right. <laughs> these these right. are all almost as if John did what we asked him to, which is based it on the fields. Exactly <laughs> correct. So, so <laughs> where where it gets <laughs> where it it starts to actually require that you apply your mind. Oh, yeah, is, that part. Yeah, uh, is when we get to project specific <laughs> conditions. <laughs> okay, got it. Uh, and uh, so that's, I think. And I should note in the, uh, what is it, the regulatory conditions 10 through 14, yes. those were taken from the fields, and there was a uh, local preference right. portion put in. And right. I, I don't believe there's been a local preference discussed here. Can, so can you can ask Gino about that? Sure. Because uh, that was that, I, I noted the same thing. It hasn't been discussed here, but I imagine because the town doesn't have a whole lot of units and is trying to find workforce housing, I imagine Gino will say we want to try to do the local preference. But I, I don't think this board drives that bus, right? Um, I think the ZBA can actually make a determination whether local preference is to be instituted because it would be a condition of the decision. Okay. 
Uh, any downside to them of that? Um, there's more coordination that they have to do. They have to do yeah, a, a, a lottery. Smaller, and pool. I know. So I'd, I'd like Vin to be the one to make the decision. Yeah. But I mean, okay. the reason why you do the project is for the community. So right. I would I, hope that he would be one. I, I, that. I, yeah. I think it's very likely that the planning board will say we'd like to do this local preference. Sure, it makes sense. I, I don't don't doubt you wanting to do it that way. <laughs> so I, I guess I'd like to leave it that. The sense of the board is we have a strong preference for the local preference at this yep. time, and if it's going to be a problem for Ben, we should discuss it with him. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's my my feeling as a as a matter of policy. Uh, if we're creating, uh, if we're doing what we should be doing, creating more affordable units in the community. There should be a preference for right. for the right. for those listed. Uh, and, and he's already, they're hiring what, Sudbury, right, Jeannie, for um, Sudbury's? For the field. For the field, so maybe they can just do the same. I mean, we're not talking about a million units here. Right. Okay. Um, so, yes, please do keep in the uh, local preference stuff. Um, okay. So, before we get to... Let's try to clear out all the underbrush of before we get to project-specific conditions. You would say, John, if I'm hearing you correctly, that before we get to project-specific conditions, once we've handled the local preference and decide how we're doing the definitions, you're good. You're yeah, I don't believe there's any other questions I had on the general conditions or regulatory conditions. Okay. Correct. Okay, so that gets us to paragraph... 35. Right. Uh, where, where should we put in his requested waivers, if any? Um, those can actually go before the conditions. Okay. We can maybe uh, put, put a, section, a separate section that says uh, waivers requested and approved. Or should that be um, up, in the, uh, up in the definitions, maybe? Um, yeah, or around findings of fact. Or okay. Yeah, that's right. right. It should be yes. Okay. So we're going to add in findings of fact. Um, and in the decision requested waivers. The decision statement, I can add a, a note that says, and all waivers listed above are heretofore granted. Okay. I didn't see other than adding in um, details and definitions. I didn't see anything to talk about for us on special findings of fact other than with respect to his waivers or and the governing law because we're not, uh, you know, we don't have a large project or any of that stuff involved in this one. Yeah. I thought that maybe uh, some of this narrative of the project description might go into the findings of fact if we are going to start with this more summary statement at the beginning. Oh, I see. That's interesting. And because this will probably not be the last one of these, the nice part is we sort of develop a form. We can Well, on our way. Okay. So, we're going to put the waivers in the findings of fact. You're going to tell me, John, that we're going to tie in the Board of Health well and septic permit and the CONSCOM permit into those conditions after 35. And that we'll also add into the conditions after 35 the walking path and the Markinson sliver. So Peter, maybe we need to make a VIN, VIN list here. And the VIN list is um, extend April 30. Uh, what are the terms of the Martin, Martinson terms and walking path terms, right? Because you, you can't 
give us that right now, can you? Uh, he's available, um, so I, I just actually reached out to him on the local preference. I'm keeping the list as well. So um, we, when we did the approval not required plan, we created the parcels on both the ends of the boundary here. So the ability to transfer those uh, portions of this lot exists. Our application with the board was up front and we identified the property itself with those two parcels as being parcels that we wish to be able to um, deed to our abutters. Who's the other abutter who gets one? Um, the yeah, I'll give you the name. You should have the, the part of these proceedings. <clears throat> you know, I assume the tape is running. I had to even ask you that. Oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. Okay. So it's number 55. Don't worry about the video tape. 55 North Main, it's O'Neill. Ah, okay. And from Martinson, it's 61, if you want to actually make that address, uh, address uh, on there as well. So, like I said, the parcel A and parcel B were on our approval oh, not required right. plan. The planning board endorsed that. It's yep. a record at the registry. I remember that. We have the ability to describe those two parcels and convey to those of ours. And where is the where is the walking path located? Uh, see, I know Vin was dealing with Steve um, Cosmos on that, and I do have Stephen's plan, but it, it doesn't show any path on it. So I'm, I'm sorry, I've not been involved in that. It was something Vin was willing to accept as a condition for the project, and you know, a location to be determined in the field. Okay, well, so you'll, you'll need to get back to us on some detail on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, was there any discussion with CONSCOM on that? They were the main drivers of wanting it. No, not, that, not that you it's recall. Not no, yeah, no, it didn't, it didn't seem to me that it was, it was a part of their order. I thought okay. it was actually the planning board that actually was more the driver than the CONCOM. Because the CONCOM actually has a better familiarity with the ground was like out there. And, and it would take quite a bit of effort to want to try to traverse that area today right, right. because of the amount of, uh, of uh, and, 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 and your position is we might grant the right, but someone else is going to have to build it. We, we could do it that way. Um, I, don't think, you know, ben, I don't think he's, he feels as though the people that are going to purchase here are going to be wanting to take that walking path. That they okay. be less inclined to want to do so. All right, so we will need from you uh, some sort of narrative on what Ben's position winds up being. And if you can send it to the board and John at the same time, that'll speed up our drafting. Mm -hmm. And before I forget, if you could send over a revised list of waivers. Okay, I can do that. I do have an answer back from Ben. Everything in the draft on affordable unit was fine. Um, he had his lottery agent approve the condition. I don't know if that really answers the local preference. I, don't I think said it that, that to him specifically. I said, are you good with local preference? And that's going to reduce his, his pool. But i got to believe there's, there's pent-up demand in your community for the uh, opportunity. Yes. So yes, I would is. think that uh, it's not going to be an issue. Well, <laughs> just, just, just ask him and get us an answer. The yeah, local right. preference yeah. is just for the affordable yes, units. Yes, For the affordable units, yeah. No, it's for the three units. units. I, 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 would just saying, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's three things that can be yeah. spoken for. Oversubscribed. Oh, right. I would like to better understand the walking path or the walking paths. Um, are these paths for the benefit of the, the town? In other words, are, are, are the town's many nature walkers going to have access to this path? And if they are, it should be a real path <laughs> and, and not uh, something that's just shown on a, I mean, I, I, I don't have an, a, right. so, I don't so want to disrupt anything that's been decided and agreed. Yeah, it hasn't been decided, so it's a fair <laughs> question. The town isn't a butter, to, and you bring up a good point. I, I, like I said, I've not been directly involved in yeah. that discussion. The town of Sherburn is our butter to the north. Yep. So this is your town property. I have no idea where you might have a trail already on there are that property. right through there, right under your fingers. There are, oh, there are, okay. Yeah. So, so then at some point someone had brought up that point in the public um, discussion on this project, and I would guess then that someone would want to be able to go from here to there through our project. Right. I, I think that, that's my recollection as well. 
although I don't think it was particularly well developed and so is it going to be mowed I mean or is, is this is it actually going to be staked or well, is somebody going to be able to find the, it the, 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 that's the that's the not yet determined um, because one of the issues is that while sitting here in this room looking at pieces of paper a pass sounds great actually coming up with something on the ground that gets through that conservation area without boots up to your middle thighs um, is, is a different story and you know would it have to be a wooden walkway would it have to be this would it have to be that would would the construction of it be a problem for the cons con? all those things haven't been really developed yet that's why I'm saying we need to know the developers positions we can so we can ask Gino because I, I I think now that you mentioned it it were Reminds me that I think this did come from planning board, yeah, and and there is a connection out to Route 16 past Martinson. It's not like mm -hmm. this is going to make a huge difference in terms of access. You can already walk right off 16 right into all those paths. Mm -hmm. The question is whether or not the spur over to this development is evaluated. Is, is if you, if you scale it this way, I mean I know where that where the path comes out further right up north. It's right over here. It's right over here. Yeah. I mean, this is Martinson, and it comes and right up there. Si and the sidewalk, does the sidewalk extend up to that I point? Don't, I don't know. Where? On North Main? Yeah. And it's, there is an opening right past Math Martinson's. There's a brook there, and then there's an opening. Right. And the sidewalk is right there. So, so the f people living at uh, this new... Uh, development project project I was trying to come up with uh, something that's uh, sounds nicer because uh, it is very nice uh, they might find it more convenient just to take the sidewalk uh, they correct can come right down take the sidewalk and go up it's the Bay circuit trail I think right right and instead of going like that way. yeah yeah right so from my standpoint I don't think this is necessarily a hill to die on. It's more I want to make sure that we've. I just want to understand it. Figured, right? out, figured, figured out. Expectations are all. Figured out what we're doing and why, uh, because if the answer is it's going to be very difficult and intrusive in this resource area to build a shortcut so these people don't have to go out to the street, I'd probably say, why don't you just walk out to the street? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I am a. a, a Yeah. If they really want to do right. So, so there, but there the should be no between the units is pretty narrow. It, yeah. It's not a really pleasant. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to invite someone to walk between yeah. the units, and I really, I, you're, I you know, have to say that there the are Martinson, windows on the right, sides of the right. unit. Right. And the Martinson transfer. I mean, before Vin even got involved in the project, when I was doing this work for the Labadini and, and, um, and his partner, I had suggested doing this for the Martinsons because they're they're home. I mean, I show it on the plan. It's like yeah. two feet outside their door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How this even ever got created is beyond me, and it just needed to be corrected. Okay. And, they, and Vin, when I first met with him, I had just that was like one of the first questions out of my mouth was, "You want to do this project, but will you stick with what we created on the A and R?" Because I really felt as though it was important. Right. And I'd never even met the Martins since at that point. Right. And, yeah. and, and it may be the the answer to, to us is going to be some narrative from you or from Vin or somebody, which is. I talked with Gino. I've talked with uh, uh, Michael Lesser. Uh, you know, the consensus view of that group is that building the spur trail is 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 going to be an irritant to the Marthensons and the unit owners, and of no benefit to anybody. And we ought to drop it. Right. And if those two guys buy in, and I think I'd be likely. I'd say, uh, let's yeah, not do it. That let's not do it. And so then it shouldn't be shown on a plan of record. That pe people right. from people shouldn't be confused about whether. Right. There was a trail there that <laughs> right. they could use. This Somebody got it. It does not exist on any of our project documents. Okay. Right. Well, so then let, let's put that. So, so I'll do that memo, though. I think that's a good way to close Right, it because then, then we ought to it's refer to something. So when someone says, where's my walking trail, we can say we decided yeah. that you weren't going to get it. Right. We, we in the world of state conveyancing, you especially know all the mischief that can be caused by little trails <laughs> that people I think do. that they I have. Do. Uh, Sometimes it can make your 
title unmarketable or unsaleable <laughs> or, or both. <laughs> Liabilities. And, and Peter, just confirm. There's no trail there on the ground now. No, no. Yeah. no yeah. If there was, it's I mean, it would it would have already overgrown in the timeline that I've. Been right, 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 right. That, that, that's it's my thought. Amazing okay. All right. How quickly Good. mother claims her territory out here because we hadn't been on it for a couple of years when I tried to walk out back. It, the, everything was up to my neck. Yeah. yeah. I went up ahead. So I could knock everything down so we could continue to walk out. Yeah. <laughs> and then you hit the railroad tracks. And then you hit the railroad, exactly. Then you hit the railroad tracks and it's open again uh, there. But, oh. yeah. It's like the old joke about the farmer and the minister. And the minister says, it's amazing what God and the farmer could do together. The farmer says, you should, you should see this place when God's taking care of it by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in the Board of Health document? Uh, essentially, it's there because we would have to have made the septic system twice as large as, as it is currently configured. But, but, but um, we can put that on the plan. I believe it says it. Did, did you adopt from... Um, the no garbage grinders. No, no. There, there, there was very specific language in one version of the field settlement that said that there have to be labels on vanilla every sink. Well, Don't put a garbage grinder in They actually required that over at Abbey Road. Right. On the plumbing fixture, right. the sink. Right. There's mm. a, it, you know, some fine. signage yeah. that says no yep. garbage. Is well, let, let, let's, let's adopt that. So I, I think we put it in the fields as well. Right. And, I, and it just, you know, anything we can do to signal to a homeowner, you're really not supposed yeah. to do this. Okay. Um, all right, so. And then there was a okay. comment that 54 is the school bus stop. All right. You just said. There was a comment. Yeah, this is uh, 55 and older, right? Oh, didn't right. we, didn't yes, we so decide to. Uh, bus stop. No, no, There's no, really no, no I, for I a bus stop. So we're going to drop that out. All right. So so now let's dive into if my fellow board members are ready, starting at 35 and just sort of walk through. Sounds a good way to proceed. Yes. All right. Okay. So 35 is easy because having defined the project plans, they'll just be able to do that by cross reference. Mm -hmm. 36 should be fine. Um, 37, we had this problem at the fields where we sort of say in six different places in six different ways, it's really only two bedrooms. You can't finish the lofts. It has to be in the condo docks. It has to be in your septic permit. It has to be stamped on everybody's forehead. Um, and maybe we find one spot to put that, but then sit. And, and maybe maybe here 37 is good, so that it's an early project specific condition. But I thought so 37, 48, and this isn't your drafting. This is this is drafting you inherited, John. Uh, 37, 48. Where is it? Uh, 37 combined it got combined with 48 and I thought we said in the fields I don't remember where in the fields we said it that they had to put it in their condo bylaws too because we wanted their board to have robust enforcement powers so that if Johnny homeowner who wasn't playing well with the others put in his and what happened to be a plumber put in his own uh, garbage grinder the board could stop him Let's see, where was it? Are you going to make the condominium association responsible under paragraph 81? I'd like to. I'd like to. I want to give them a stake. I mean, they, they, it's their septic system. They'll have to pay for it, but I want to. 
sometimes the kind of trustees are kind of checked out, you know. Why should I care? Well, because you're liable for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's another paragraph. Um, so let's see. 81. <clears throat> So, John, where I'm going is if we can try to bake into 37, 3748 plus from the fields, well, we, didn't, we don't really have uh, the gallonage issue that we had in the fields. There is some mention about the present count. Oh, here it is. Um, in, in, in the fields, John, it's at Board of Health Regulations sewage disposal. So it's in 4B, it's on page 6, 4B4. This is where that language came from. That notices. Okay. Put me in fields. Four. Four. <coughs> all right, so hopefully hopefully we'll smash all of the septic stuff into thirty seven and it'll be up front and, and well advertised. The mail kiosk. Um, that we can now just say that's per the plan, right? Per the plan, we did move it. That's okay. Right. So the only thing that I know that you wanted was an architect. You wanted, you wanted the architecture of that to uh, be submitted to the board prior to its implementation. And I had asked him, "Are we going to do that?" He had said, "He didn't mind the theme conditions." So All right. So we might as well roll that into the. So 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 thirty eight is going to change into show us the plans first. Correct. Yeah, the locations on the plan, but. Here's to show you the design. Okay. So do we want to say the applicant shall locate the common mail kiosk per the final plan set? Yes. Yeah. And, and, and in a design. By a design to the zoning board prior to construction. Whatever you folks are comfortable with. Prior to issuance of building permit. Okay, the cobblestones and pavers. 39 is probably accurate as written, right, Peter? Yes, you don't have to change it. The plan does reflect that, but you need to reinforce the meaning and intent. So I'm good with that. Okay. Um, 40 is, uh, no, John, you weren't, I don't think you were here. Um, then last time was describing to us that there's a 30,000 gallon requirement right now on the plans for a cistern, which turns out to be um, substantially more of a financial adventure than he had in mind. Um, and he's talking with the fire chief about whether a smaller version could, could work. Is that a fair yes. characterization? Yes. Okay. I wanted oh. to change that with the condition as well because I was I'm leaving it on my plan. My plan does show a thirty thousand gallon tank, which is what the chief wanted. But we're, we we do want to condition that down, if you will. All right. So let's say so forty should say you've got to have the thirty thousand gallon tank shown on the plan unless you get buy-in from the chief and this board right. on a smaller. Right. So we want to say the applicant shall provide a 30,000 gallon tank per the final plan unless presented, unless the ZBA is presented with a letter from the Sherborn Fire Department confirming. Presented with and, and agrees to. I don't, I don't think we can delegate to the fire chief the decision. We have to do it ourselves, I think.
landscaping plan. Uh, this was the um, the headlights and uh, Marion Clancy across the way. Does, Correct. Does your plan cover that no, now? No, it does not. It does okay. not exist. I know Steve Cosmos tried to reach out to Mrs. Um, Clancy. Clancy, thank you. All right. <laughs> and I saw her at the gas station one day, and she said you guys were working something out. Right. And we, so we've tried. You know, she, she. I had to chase her. <laughs> to get the well work done, so I'm sure Stephen will do some chasing as well. She's but a real estate a broker, so she's yeah, pretty exactly. busy right no, now. Yeah. She made that clear. It was, it was on her, not on us. But I think you need to leave the wording exactly. Like okay, so 41 does not exist yet. Right, we do need to okay. provide it. Okay. And we know it's a problem that we have to address. Mm -hmm. um, what about the full design of the water system? Are you now done on that? No. Um, so we've shown you. It's it's a layout and, and its configuration. So we've shown you where the well is. We've shown you where our pump house is going to be, how our line is going to come out and feed the network and go mm -hmm. to each unit. That's all shown. The details of that are not done. So I don't know what's going on inside that house as far as what I'm going to have there for the distribution system and the water pipe sizes and whatnot aren't done. All right. So is the reference to your system as, as discussed at the March 22 meeting still up to date? would be and it would still reflect the plans have continued to be revised through that date. So, okay. Um, yeah, because the date was March 23rd um, and, and now we're, we're up to, uh, I didn't revise this plan yet, but the current revision date we're carrying forward is uh, the 19th of April. And I'm revising every sheet. I just don't like projects where one's did something of a date. So we just rather if the plan didn't get revised, it's the whole plan set is that date. It's just easier for everybody. Then you don't have a mistake getting the wrong plan. So the way you've got it drafted, I think would still work, but we do have other water distribution details to provide you. Right. Well, and, and where I was going, John, maybe we should try to group the water system conditions together and near each other uh, here because don't we also, isn't part of this, isn't one of your conditions going to be that you follow the well testing protocol that's oh, been hammered out? Yes, I, I do need to ask you, but that was another waiver that we foresee needing. This is why we need the list. Right. <laughs> right. Have we, uh, I'll get you some language, John, just as a, as a, from my perspective, you obviously will tweak it. For the waivers, for the board, but yeah, for the waivers, but more importantly for the water design, I'll just mm -hmm. kind of give you my blurb and then you rework it okay. for the board's and, satisfaction. And won't the blurb have attached to it that provincial report that we've been talking about yeah. as an exhibit, or well, what, what, well, what's the right practice here? I mean, there's a there was a well testing report by right. their people. We, we gave oh, it for the well testing protocol. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we can the the report can be listed in the documents. Okay. And we can just refer and back then, to and that. Yeah, because if we attach the report, it's bulky and that's going to be difficult. Right. But, all right. Um, and there's also a, uh, a well testing, uh, no to all, there, let's see, there, you, you had a tap testing issue with Mark and you also had a no to all, I mean, Tualaline, I'm saying it wrong. Tualaline, right. So, so we, we have, he, he needs to see two consecutive uh, tests without the Tualaline being present. So we, we, we acknowledge that we are confident that we're going to get that. All right. The, so, um, so you're going to send John a draft that hopefully right. captures right. all of these things. I think I have to. I, I think he'll need to reword it so right. that it's Because right. I'm going right. to give it to him in the right. engineer language, right. you need to reword it. Right. Well, and, the toluene condition is captured in 45. Okay, yeah, we'll see that. See that. So, okay. Yeah, I thought I saw it in there. Yeah, so, that, that, so then maybe it's just a moving around. Yep. In a perfect world, the world may not be this perfect, but we'd have the project specific conditions be, you know, plan, landscape, and layout, water system, septic system, boom, boom, boom. So, but the world may not be that perfect. I thought that you were uh, uh, trying to achieve more efficiency, or was it more order over the the uh, fields permit which you yeah. had a fan? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, efficiency and order. 
I mean, you yeah. know, the problem is the fields permit. It was what it was. We had that. There was all sorts of stuff going there was all, on. There were all, all, <laughs> all sorts of things going on. And, you know, exactly. Deal lawyers close on imperfect documents all the time. Right. Um, but this one, if we can have it read a little better and follow yep. a little better. Okay. Um, so let's see. 43. Maybe one of the categories there, John, is sort of site design and operations. 43 goes in that. Mm -hmm. you know, you, you're, you're the planner. Your bills I'll and comments. You guys, you guys make some good assumptions about yeah, which, which bins these go in. Okay, so John is going to create bins and headings. For, and yeah, organize. right. It, but it'll still keep. You know, it just might be that 38 through 43 will be water, and 44 through this will be septic. Or, and do you want that just for the project-specific conditions? I think so, because the rest of it seems to hold together pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Again, you're the draftsman, so if you come up with a better way to present it, we're open-minded. Um, okay, landscape operations. That text is fine, it's just where it goes, right, Peter? Yeah, I was going to say that. I, um, so again, I'll group these in my way of thinking, too. Right, and if you, if you want to reach out to John offline and say, listen, I think the bins ought to be boom, boom, boom. We just want it to be clear and, and easily understood. Um, okay, the 44, I think we're of the shared waste of our contribution to the ongoing satisfactory to the CPA. At the end of 44, isn't our position that we want the homeowners association to be running all of that as a common expense, and they have to hire professionals to do it? Right. And they can't just say, well, Fred in Unit 12 is really handy. Right. And and they, so they're, so they're going to put together the <laughs> management plan. Right. And you guys determine that it's satisfactory. Okay. So the Homeowners Association will submit the plan to us. Right. And I well, think... The applicant. The applicant will have to submit the first oh, one. Yeah, yeah. And then as the Homeowners Association rolls over and rolls on and becomes its own people. That's what you have in mind, Peter, right? Understood. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I was actually going to say this. This could be a heading because because this these are all conditions of certificate of occupancy. So you just list them out. And you've got them kind of grouped here, but I'm, I'm sure we're going to find another one down the road. And that way we know where they all are too. <laughs> yeah, but then that breaks out the what? Well, then it's not by topic. But, right. Uh, okay. Come, come up with a plan that the, the two of you think is efficient, and we'll certainly look at it. How's that? One way is just listing things that don't, aren't bound by building permit or certificate of occupancy, occupancy first, then conditions of building permit, then certificates of occupancy. Yeah. So they're in chronological right. order. Right. There's a hierarchy to it. Yeah. That would make it a lot easier for the building department to administer, wouldn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. Really good idea. All right, so maybe they won't be grouped by topic. Well, maybe no, be no, by topic I think they would be grouped by topic and then within topic right. ordered by right. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. issuance, I guess. Okay. Um, 47, uh, regulatory agreements, order of conditions. We've got an order of conditions. Disposal work construction permit. Hopefully we're going to have one. Um, you're not going to have to get a, a Nepotese permit, are you? Uh, no, we also have an acre of land here with this home and a gallon. Okay. So that's deleted? Uh, no, he, said, he's, he's, he says he's going to have to get one. Oh, he is, okay. Uh, all right, the construction management plan 47E, that, that'll go in your, for the building permit file. I'm ready to move on to 48, if everybody else is. Mm -hmm. And 48 is going to be moved up to be uh, married to uh, 37. 37. Right, 37.
And John, I believe there was language in the fields. Perhaps it was an attachment that said, here's the form. And that the restriction had to be in each deed and it had to be a certain size font that had to be the, the largest font on the deed. Do you remember seeing that? It sounds familiar, but I can't recall from what. Jeannie, do you think you can find that language? What? In, in the fields, because we were so um, concerned about compliance with the septic restrictions to number of bedrooms, mm -hmm. we said a number of things, that it had to be in the condo docks, it had to be in each individual deed, and it had to be in each mortgage. Um, and I think it had to be the largest font in each, in each of those documents. Okay. Um, and I think what we want to do is give John that so he can bolt it in. And, and if you can't find it easily, let me know and I'll put Kate on it. Because Kate can find anything. She's my assistant. So the one thing about the bedrooms, um, and I don't know how you want to handle this, but because I know you keep referring to the field, my guess is the fields probably are just straight bedrooms. And we have a special bedroom because we're an age-restricted bedroom versus right. a regular bedroom. So I don't know if we need to do this every time it's here. Well, we haven't we, done it once yet. Well, no, we, we have the same problem, though, that we have at the field, which is the, the units are actually surprisingly similar in layout. and. Um, and in is each case, that an it, project it's not an age restricted yeah. project, but it, but 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 it, it invites someone creative to say, you know, I could just make this into a bedroom. No, 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 I get that. We have that issue too. Right. What I'm saying is that our bed, because I, I know someone could criticize our decision if we don't correct or don't memorialize the fact that this is an age restricted project because we would normally have had 220 per bed. Two right. Right. And we're reduced for 150. Right. Uh, so I want to make sure that no one criticizes our decision here, your decision, um, and so we are age restricted. So you're saying, as we're writing that, we should that jump, keep, keep, we do keep repeating, keep repeating. Yeah. We're age we restricted. Want to do that every single time you refer to bedrooms, John, <laughs> but because you'd have to put it be as 24 age restricted bedrooms. That's kind of the way I would see you saying it mm -hmm. in words, but I don't know if I'd see you writing it that way every time. Listed. <laughs> so. Yeah, I guess technically it's the unit. Yeah, so that's it's just because it's the unit that's age restricted, not right. each bedroom. I know, and it's not. But I, so, so I could put in parentheses 24 bedrooms, 12. Just so I just want to units, cover like that, that so no one can criticize the decision. That's all. That we, we, we are an age restricted project. That's how we got our susceptible to be what they are. Um, that should be a project specific condition and where and is it in here and if it's not it can be its own project specific yeah, condition yeah. so I think that's a that's a perfectly valid and, and smart point is to put that in here so probably number one right yeah. out the, right out of the bat the, the, the basic regulatory condition total number of units that can be structured from the 12 age restricted condominium units with a maximum of 24 bedrooms. That takes care of what done. John, do you agree? I kind of like it. I kind of like doing yep. it there. Yep. <coughs> Everybody on board with yep. that? Yep. That way it's up front. Yep. Okay, so we were in the middle of, if I have the thread correctly. Um, we got on the side track because we were looking at 48 bedroom count. John's going to rewrite that. Um, phasing. We're not phasing this project. It's okay. pretty much one, a one and go. So, um, I mean, all I right. Ben won't build all the units at one time, but we're not, I don't see how I could. All right, so, so we just leave 49 the way it is, but you're not going to use it. We're, okay, fine. Because I was going to say, I have to build the solar absorption system. I can't get one unit release without doing that. Right. So okay. I can't do the water systems, I can't do anything without putting them in play. Okay. And then I think one of your categories of subject matters is probably going to be the condominium units and the condominium documents. Um, you've got a lot of it 
together here in 50 to 57. But we need to either by cross-reference or somehow John refer to the deed requirements and that the association is going to be responsible for making sure they comply with their Board of Health requirements. Because what we don't want to have happen is it's five years out, then in his people are long gone, somebody puts in a garbage grinder or starts putting something bad down the septic system and you call up the trustees and they go, ah, not my problem. We want, we, want, we want the best language we can get to say, yeah, it is your problem. All right. So everybody good through 57 then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Stefik, yes? Right. Um, construction and bonding, 58 through 64 looked like they were relatively standard, John. Did I read that correctly? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> does it say in here that there will be additional peer reviewer charges, right, as the peer reviewer comes in and sort of supervises stuff? Does it say in here that they have to pay that? Or will there be additional peer review charges? I don't charges? believe there will be. I thought I saw something in here about peer review charges. Maybe, let's see. Maybe I'm crazy. I know we'll let the board of health come out to do the inspections for the solar absorption system. Right. Um, there will be inspections. Right. There is area 55. Mm -hmm. I have to deliver you an ad with the project. I would understand mm -hmm. that. I just didn't know. I didn't know whether you were going to have something inspections or anything. In terms of peer review, in terms of PSC? Yeah, I thought I saw some reference I don't believe that was in their scope, so I don't... Okay, I didn't think that it was either, so maybe... Uh, here, uh, 76. That's where I saw it. Uh, we would have to check their scope to make sure that that's in it. Okay. Is PSC that... Is um, you're you're our, our keeper of the good practices. Uh, what's... Who, who usually does that for a small town like us? We have a part-time building inspector who's really good, but he's part-time. We don't really have an engineering staff. Um, and there's no town consultant that does reviews on behalf of the inspector. I don't. I don't think so. I think he does it. But um, Chris Canny is our building inspector. He does a lot of plan review, so I don't know whether this would be for framing him. He's an engineer tech. I don't know if that would fall under something. Okay. So can you ask Chris Canny mm -hmm. if he's comfortable being the review person on number seven six? Yep. If the answer to that is yes, just tell John. And that's great, because then we're then then we'll just say uh ZBA in consul in consultation with the building inspector. Or should we say building department? Is there a building department? Or are they housed under, would he be housed under a different department? Mm -hmm. Just just yeah. to make it as broad as yeah. possible. So the other half of the building department is right there in the room with us. <laughs> it's a big group. <laughs> it's a really big group. The other, and it might be just a stupid little thing, but you have town department of public services. We got one of those? We don't have one. Of those. <laughs> where, 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 where does that show up? 64. Oh, that's probably uh, uh, CMND, right? CMD. We call it Community Maintenance and Development. Run by a former selector. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Good for him. I wonder if he's going to do as good a job as our former town council. <laughs> um, all right, so. Do we have comments on 58 to 64 other than 
C, M, and D. I guess I should note here, because I probably didn't know before, this is a great job and a huge help, John. You've moved us way down the line with your first draft, so yeah, many we, are, we, we, are, we are grateful. Um, okay, 65. The landscaping, maybe that gets moved around into the sort of the site stuff, or... Right. It's a but it is. Do we need 65? I guess. I don't know. Well, it's Shelby as shown on the plans. So it's okay. basically okay. Yeah. for All right. the construction. All right. Okay. That was the intent. Okay. We can ask for sureties. Site and engineering plans. So we'll need to probably tie in the right cross reference there for the right. All right, Peter Bemis, you were okay with 68 as written. Yes, yes. no? Yes. Okay. No, okay. Um, in 71. We don't have a DPS director. We do have a CMND. What is Sean's uh, title now? Director? Director, director of CMND? Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got a CMND director. And uh, should maybe the Board of Health agent be part of that? Makes sense. Yep. Based on how available all these people are in minutes, you have a prior pre construction meeting. So if these folks are you know, generally available a certain day, we should be able to make that work. Hmm. Okay. 72. Looks like routine stuff. 73, 74. Um, do you intend any blasting here, Peter? Do you think? No, I don't anticipate it. I mean, it could happen. Frankly, if anything happened here, it would be hammering. It would get a boulder that's big, but I don't see it as blasting. Okay. We, we have uh, procedures we have to follow, uh, especially because of the proximity of the homes. So we will be following state rules. On right. That. No, I, I just want to yeah. mention again, we've, we've had two incidents in town where blasting was followed by well problems next door, and the causation of that is not yet known, except that it's happened twice. Yeah, yeah we probably run the bigger risk with our own wells. Right, exactly. Well, that's, that's, that's I think we want to, 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 to mention it. There was a study down in Connecticut that they were trying to, they found the link, but they couldn't find the causation yet. And they knew what they would do. You could find the statistical connection, mm -hmm. but you couldn't find cause and effect. Anything else up here of note through, through the through 88? I mean, we've got some bolting in to do. We've got some new writing to do, but we're largely there, right? Yes. Uh, and th this language uh, is mostly taken from the uh, from the fields. From the fields. Good. Uh, 72 on. Oh, great! Thank you. Out, comes That's out good. of the fields. Uh, one thing we, I mean, we do need at the end something, I take it, this, this document's going to be titled Comprehensive Permit? Yeah, okay. that's what it should be. And so should then, be decision of the Sherburn Zoning Board of Appeals, Comprehensive Permit, Chapter 40B. And then, so there's going to need to be some language at the end. Uh, about laps and it'll have to be signed. Yeah. And notice of uh, oh, right. right to appeal. Right, right, right. 
So, John, we've got pretty common language in the town that shows up at the end of all of our uh, ZBA uh, decisions. And, uh, I sign it. We, we date it. It has to be filed with the town clerk, blah, 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 blah. And there's probably a bunch of other stuff under 40B that has to happen, but we probably don't put that in at the end just so the world knows we did it. Mm -hmm. That's where you're going with that, right? Yeah. No, That's I where I was going. I agree. And obviously we need to add in the Board of Health permit, the CONSCOM permit, and the, the, uh, the two slivers. So probably in terms of how we organize it, wouldn't you put the two slivers and the walking path, if there's going to be one at all, in sort of... Uh, site design and features or something like that, those types of conditions? Where would you put those? I'd have to see where we end up with the okay. different buckets. All right. but TBD. I, I think, yeah, something like that, or some even general miscellaneous or something. I mean, to me, there's like these other items that, that aren't really infrastructure, specific right. infrastructure items that we're going to have. Right. So, we'll move those around a little bit. Try to help you with what I can on all right, so would I be correct in assuming that the next step is for us to come back on the 10th, seeing as far in advance of the 10th as you can comfortably do it, a revised draft? Um, you can send that to all of us, or you can send it to Gene, and Gene can send it to all of us. We just can't discuss it amongst ourselves before the 10th. We much appreciate it. <coughs> That'll be Thank great. You. Are you getting any sleep at your house? I am actually. He's, he's You've got an easy one. Huh? You've got a good sleep. sleeper. Both of them have been, so we're very wow. lucky. Wow, <laughs> two good sleepers. That's one more reason why we might not try for a third. <laughs> That's <laughs> unfair. <laughs> How'd you get two? Sometimes you never know. <laughs> I only got one. <laughs> That's great for you. Good for you, um, Peter. It seems to me that your shopping list with Ben is he's got to right. extend April thirtieth out to. May, something after May 10th. Um, he's got to pay Jeannie. He's got to um, uh, raise his hand if he's going to object to local preference. And he's got to tell us what his terms are with Martinson and O'Neill. Yes. Oh, and, and the path. But the, it sounds like the path is just you getting confirmation from Gino and, and Michael Lesser that, that nobody wants it. Right. We didn't include it in our order of conditions at this point. So right. that would be probably more burdensome for me because that would all be work that would be within the buffer zone. So let's document that nobody wants it. Cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll so let's document that nobody wants it and then no one will be able to complain so, later. So um, I'm inclined to, to just grant this without even trying to reach him right now. We have the Board of Health meeting in third anyway, so, so I'm good to go up to the, to the 15th kitchen in the following week, which I think will be Tuesday. Right. That, that so, so tonight, though, and I get what? That the extension? No, I don't need month. it until right. if I can have it for even Friday morning. Right. right. Thirtieth is, is Monday. Yeah. And the forty. You just have uh, the town clerk can clock it in for me Friday. Right. Morning. All right. That's Ooh, what we're going to do. I'm not in Friday. No, it's Thursday. So I'm going to because I have to give Mr. Orm this package on All right, Thursday, so give it to and me I need to get you your money, which because he was supposed to bring that with him, and he's not going to come tonight. So um, I want to make sure. Down. Yeah, okay. no, no, I told you it would be here this evening, and I'm usually pretty good about getting the things done that I say. No, Thursday's fine, and then the <laughs> town clerk can stamp it in. Stamp it in. Right. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll make sure those things are all here. Thursday. Great. So we'll go to the 15th. Uh, uh, the 10th. The 10th. Well, you well, should extend to the 15th. Thursday, so I'm trying to get you because because you won't get anything. Say you get it all done, and we get it, still may not get the record um, to the clerk's office till like, Monday or Tuesday. So well, wh whatever. Just pick a date after the tenth to extend to, because right. so that's when we do. next meet. Because you could always, on the tenth, if you it turns out again. there's going to be something else coming in, that's you could further extend it. And then you give it to Ben. All right. Well, why right. not just give it to the eleventh then? <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the, the reason why you ought to leave a couple days is, what if somebody's around not in? I mean, that's why you want to leave yourself a stub right. period of a couple yeah, so of days. I, I'd rather just go to May fifteenth. Okay. First day. All right. So All right. That's so. Some okay. people have to sign something to that effect and give it to Jeannie thir by Thursday. Yep. 
apologize to everyone present for being late and holding us up 15 minutes. But we're going to get to go to town meeting anyway. <laughs> no damage, no harm, no foul. Um, what am I? What am I missing? Anything else we should cover? No. Why don't you go home shape. to your family then? I think we're in good shape. Okay. Sure. Are you are you uh, open to a motion to close the meeting? I'm I'm, an emo I'm open to a motion to extend the hearing to <laughs> to May 10th at 8 p.m. Okay. Second. Extensive debate. All in favor? Extend to May 10. Aye. Opposed? None. Anybody feel like adjourning? Yes. Adjournment. Mr. Fisk moves, moves adjournment. So